Where did it come from 44? Depths of the Wasteland, a crossover video by Dangerously Incompetent. This video we're looking at Depths of the Wasteland mini season, which had no special mode, uh, battle mode associated with it. It had regular challenges which you achieve in missions and raids and so on. Nothing to write home about there. Had a reward track with stuff on it and some rather expensive crafting which we'll get into at the end. So let's have a look at what it brought into the game that was tradable. I mean, if you bought the Battle Pass, you got some upgraded Tempest, but they're not tradable directly. Uh, so, ugh, <laughs> not interested in that, this video. Well, just yet. We will be later on. See the expensive crafting. Do not block sticker. That's not a new sticker, but it's come back to the game again, coming into the game to push the price down. Is it to push the price down or is it to give newer players a chance to get <laughs> the do not block sticker? Because they've never had a chance to get it before apart from buying it off the marketplace. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a cheap thing to put in a reward track, isn't it? No to ravages. Oh, that's not tradable. <laughs> Useless. In other words, Camouflage of reinforced concrete paint. That's not new. Let's come back in. And not tradable. They're not tradable. Well, not tradable directly for the trombone. Gladiator skin paint. That's not new either. Oh, and there's new layout, isn't it? New layout for the reward track. So you get the paint writ big. So you can actually see what it is and what the texture is. And yes, that, well, that's an improvement. You get a bigger shot of the paint. Rather than if we look at, can we look at parameters? There, it's on the vehicle, so you can't tell what. It's just sort of grey and shiny, isn't it? Is that that's a bit bigger as well. Anyway, that's by the by. What else we've got tradable? Feng Shui hologram, <laughs> not new either. Horned menace, not new. Yeah, it's not tradable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boo disinterested orange grid that is tradable and not new fog headlights is tradable but not new again these are all the stuff all the deck all the paints and <laughs> not new been around before plenty of them on the market why bother you don't need to buy the battle pass to get these things they're just space fillers that is tradable too is black corner and what are we getting in humanitarian aid is just a bit of resources. Oh, the chance of uranium. <laughs> totally worth the price of a battle pass, isn't it? Uh, Shoujo sticker. Tra tradable. Not new. Ooh, how many of it? Oh, maybe I should need to buy. Should I buy the stock back up? Not at five, I won't. Not five coins. Five cents? Yeah. Five coins? No. Tram sticker. That's not new. And loader decor part, that's not new either. But they're both tradable, aren't they? Yes, to check. Yes, both tradable. And tenacious man, that is tradable and not new. And, oh, still wind. And at the end of the mini, the reward track, which you, oh, I can't remember now. In, or did I even bother doing the calculations? You may have got one or two tempests off the end of the reward track, unless you went and bought the deluxe edition of the battle pass. No, there isn't a deluxe edition for the mini seasons, is there? Let's just check. Uh, depths, yeah. There's no. Oh no, there, there, there is. There it is. Depths of the waste and deluxe. Oops. Uh, rewards. So you can get. One or two, maybe, Tempest Order cans, but by just buying the Battle Pass and then completing all the challenges. But to get more, you need a Deluxe Battle Pass and or uh, plus one level, level up here. So that's quite a chunk of money to get just, you know, a special. Oh, is that? Uh, no, it's a regular special, not an upgraded special if you want to. <laughs> Even more expensive. Let's have a look. At the crafting, shall we? Because this is really rather, 
shonky in my opinion and quite expensive so to get you can get an upgraded tempest for which you need two regular tempests and they only come off while the market or there was a <laughs> pack came in during the month this mini season was on or you get it off the excess levels of the reward track and with those upgraded tempests you can make you know whirl you can craft that's in the regular workbench yes trombone you need to get three upgraded tempests so you need six regular tempests you get two upgraded tempests off the start of the reward track but that's quite expensive for a trombone but of course the trombone isn't coming in you can't craft you can you can craft it no <laughs> oh, you can get it off the battle pass you can't craft the trombone, it's not on the regular workbenches, so most people can't craft the trombone unless it's of course your work pieces rather than workbenches. Then there's ooh, three legendary stuff that are you can't craft. You can't craft the Yokozuna or the Vulture or the Still Wind. They all came off um big seasons and their their crafting was limited to the season. So to get an upgraded Yokozuna, you need one upgraded trombone and four upgraded whirls, which of course need three and so three upgraded trombones, which need six upgraded regular no, yeah. Three upgraded tempers, which need two upgraded. Really rather expensive. But then you can degrade it for free if you've got the battle pass. So you can spend all that money getting trombones and tempers and upgrading them and all, and having paid for the battle pass, and you can get a, a Yokozuna, which you can sell for, ooh, if you're lucky, <laughs> let's have a look at the trade, a declining price. If you're lucky, you can sell it for 16000 Yeah. But an awful lot of people do. So the price, come, the price on all these three legendaries dropped down, so... Maybe it's time to invest in a Yokozuna, just for just for old times' sake. And the same with the Vulture, and then the same with the Still Wind. It's the same recipe, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, the Vulture you only need three upgraded worlds. <laughs> oh no, you need four upgraded trombones. Ow, ow, super expensive. But let's have a look at cross out DB and see what this event did to the price. Oh look, it dropped it by about a quarter or maybe a third. <laughs> still quite expensive the old still one, still, still seems to be popular. I think I might buy a few as an investment stack. I did have them a long time ago when they were in the main season, you could craft them. But then I sold them far too soon because then they got a buff. Did they get a nerf after that? But they've changed since they're originally so maybe it's time to get them back and have another go with them. Anyway, that's all the tradable stuff that came in with Depths of the Wasteland mini-season. See you later.